So you have a career, a full-time job, a family, you have a life, you have a full schedule. Is it possible for somebody like you to build a voiceover career? The answer is absolutely yes. And I'll tell you how on this week's Stewie's Directive. Hi there, I'm Bill DeWeese, and welcome to this week's DeWeese Directive. I hope you're doing well, enjoying summer. I am definitely working on my Illinois tan because, as we found out this past winter, you just never know what lies around the corner, so I'm taking advantage of the of the sunshine and the warm weather while I can. And hey, before I share my DeWeese Directive, I wanted to let you know that I am having a big $50 off sale that's going on beginning today through Friday, so July uh, 2nd, 3rd, and then Friday the 4th. And it's $50 off just about every product and service that I offer. And if you want to know what those products and services are, uh, and you may already know from the emails that you get from me, but if you want to review, go to my website, voiceoverrevolution.com, and you can check it out. And if you do decide that there's something you want, simply insert the coupon code SUMMER50, as you see here on the screen. SUMMER, all caps, SUMMER50. 50 at checkout, and that will take that $50 off. So let's talk about you and how you can build a voiceover career while having a career, a full-time job. You're busy. You've got a spouse, possibly children. You've got activities and hobbies. And how in the world can you build a voiceover career? Well, keep this in mind. This is something I learned a long time ago, and I found it to be absolutely true. There is much more power in five minutes than most of us uh, give give credit to. Uh, there's a lot that, be, that can be accomplished in a little bit of time. We oftentimes spend more energy fretting and worrying and wondering how we're going to accomplish something uh, than the time that we would actually need to accomplish certain things. Not to say that we only need five minutes to build a voiceover career, but my point is this. Figure out how much time you can commit on a daily basis because you are building a business and it does take consistent work over a period of time. So in other words, you don't spend 10 hours this week and then take the next three weeks off and expect that within a month you'll make great progress. But how much time can you spend? Can you spend an hour a day? Can you spend 30 minutes a day? Can you spend 15 minutes a day during your lunch hour, during a break? If so, what you simply do and when I say simply, it's not to minimize it, but, but when you really think about it in the grand scheme of things, it's not overly complicated. When you have a plan, um, and that's where you need to start, you know the activities that need to be done. You know the emails that need to be sent. You need the uh, you know the phone calls that need to be made. The research that needs to be made to find out prospective clients and agents and casting directors. Uh, and you can use. 5, 10, 15 minutes at lunch when you first come home from work at night before you go to bed to do those activities. The key is knowing what you need to do ahead of time and then committing the time to do it. So for instance, let's say that I, that I know that I really need to, to make phone calls to creative directors and production companies. Well, and let's say the only time I have to do that would be during my lunch hour. So what I know that I'll be doing is I'll be using something like Mandy.com, which is a great online resource, uh, a directory, global directory of video production companies. And I will search for companies that operate within a time zone where I know that I'm likely to catch somebody in during my lunch hour. And I'll take those five minutes to make one, two, three, five calls, depending on who I get in touch with and how the conversation goes. So think of it this way. If I'm able to talk to one person a day, if I take five or 10 minutes and I'm able to get through to one person and I have a 60 second to two minute conversation, which believe me, it's, that's all it takes to ask somebody if they are accepting voiceover demos. And then I immediately zip out an email with a link back to my website. So my, so my emails or so my demos rather can be reviewed. If you do that once a day, that's five people you've contacted a week. That's 20 people that you've contacted a month. That's 240 prospective clients that you've contacted in a year, just taking five to 10 minutes a day. Uh, and again, it's not to minimize it, to make it sound like it's easy. What's hard is not the activity, it's the disciplining, your, disciplining yourself to do it. But if you're going to be a business owner, if you're an entrepreneur, which you, you are by definition, if you want to be a voiceover talent, then those are the kind of disciplines that you have to develop to be successful. So remember, 
you do have the time if it's something that you want to, to, to pursue by only if you only have five minutes a day. And most of us can take at least 15 or 20 minutes a day. You can accomplish a lot with that time if you have a plan, you're focused, and you discipline, and you do it consistently day after day. I wish you great voiceover success. I thank you for checking out this, uh, this video. Share it through social media with all of your friends. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And for more information on my training services, simply check out voiceoverrevolution.com. Thanks a bunch. Talk to you real soon.